our next story to tackle is the unbelievable trip to the store. So get yourself to the third page. Now, one thing that's important is depending on how you handled the poem up above and where your picture was and all of that, this unbelievable trip to the store story may be a little bit of a mess, meaning, you know, your text may be down low, you might have a whole empty page. What we need is we need to start out with this story at the top of the page. So if it's not at the top of the page, click your cursor to the left of the word the, and you're going to click the backspace key slowly until it's at the top of the page. Now mine <clears throat> jumped up too high, so I'll hit enter. You may have to play around a little bit with the enter button and the delete button or the backspace button until the words the are at the very top. Okay. So the first thing you'll do is we're going to adjust the font a little bit. Make your title fill up almost the whole line. Okay, of the top of your story. Center your text. Feel free to change the font. Make it look good. You can change colors. So make that title look nice and bold and fun. And then go down to your story and make your story somewhere in the you know 14 18 something like that you don't want it to take the entire page up because we're going to add a little bit um, but i would say somewhere between 14 and 18. i could even click on the number 14 and change it to 16. so pick something that that will look interesting okay now, where we're going to focus for this part of the project are these statements that are underlined. Car with an elephant on top, monkey in front of the door, frog riding on top of a bird. And what we're going to do is we're going to create clip art that fits the story. But we're not just going to go search for clip art. We're actually going to make our own clip art. We are going to make a piece of clip art that shows a car with an elephant on top. Here's how we do that. We're going to go up to the insert menu, but we're not going to insert an image. We're going to insert a drawing. Now this is different than a Google drawing document on its own. This is a drawing within our, within our Google doc. So choose insert drawing. So we have our canvas here, and what we're going to do is now we're going to insert a picture. So we need a picture of a car and a picture of an elephant so that we can put the elephant on top of the car. So click the image button. And if you already have pictures and you're inserting them, you could go find them, but we don't have pictures of this, so we're going to have to search. So click the search option. Now we can search Google within our document, within our drawing, which is awesome. So we're going to search for an elephant. Not just any elephant. I don't want a picture of an elephant. We're making clip art. So I want an elephant clip art. I'm going to include the word clip art. And what that will do is that will make sure Google just collects like cartoons for me. There's one more thing you're going to type. You're going to type the word transparent transparent. What transparent means is transparent means see-through. And I'll explain why we do that in just a second. So we want elephant clip art that's also transparent and hit search. Go through, find an elephant we like, and click select. 
Now what I want you to notice as I move my elephant around is do you see this blue box? That outlines my clip art. And between the elephant and the blue box, you see the little checkerboard show through. Now the difference, now don't do this part, just watch. If I just got elephant clip art, I want you to notice something. Do you see how the area between the elephant and this blue box is white and it's covering up my elephant here? That's because I didn't choose a transparent clip art. Okay, and that keeps this white space white. On my other elephant, you see the checkerboard. Okay, that's going to make it so that it's easy um, to add more than one piece of clip art together. So before we can do the next part, we need to make our elephant a little bit smaller. So let's make him smaller. Now I'm going to add a clip art of a car. Car, clip art, and I need to make it transparent. And search. Pick a car, a piece of, like a car clip art that you like and select, and that will insert a transparent car clip art. And you can see when I put the car over the elephant, because it's transparent, I don't have that white box showing. So you'll wanna resize your, your car a little bit. And I could get my elephant right on top, but the only thing is, if you notice, when I put my car, I'm cutting off the elephant's feet. So it doesn't really look like the elephant is on top of the car. It looks like the elephant is behind the car. The reason that happens is because of the order. You can change the order of your pictures. It's kind of like if you had actual pictures in your hand and you put the car picture on top of the elephant, you know, the elephant's on the bottom, the car's above it. Well, we can change the order. We can change the order of the pictures so that the elephant picture is on top and the car pictures on the bottom. So what I want is I want to take this elephant and I want to bring the elephant to the front of the order. So I select my elephant and I right click and I go to order. Bring to front will bring it straight to the top of the pile. Now if you have a bunch of pictures and you don't necessarily want it on top but you want it to come to the front a little bit, you could bring forward grayed out you'll see send backward and send to back so sometimes you might want to click the picture and send that picture to the end that's an option too this is something you'll just kind of play around until it looks how you want it so we're going to choose bring to front and since i brought it to the front now you can see my elephant looks like it's on top of the car then i'll click save and close and Google has now created a custom clip art. Shrink it down. Let's make this smaller. And what you're going to do is you're going to move it to the right of the part of the story that says a car with the elephant on top. So you want to make sure that the clip art goes in the part of the story it belongs. And you're going to click wrap text. That makes my story look much, much better. That allows me to put the elephant clip art right by the elephant part of the story. I can also, you know, maybe you want to add a little more space so that everything can fit better or not. So it's kind of up to you how you want to adjust things a little bit. So the next thing you'll do is you're going to repeat that process for the monkey in front of the door and for the frog riding on top of the bird. The monkey clip art will go to the left hand side, the frog will go to the right. And when you're finished, you'll label this as done. And that's it.